Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for whoever needs it. If you are, uh, you know, in a, in, a, in a situation where you and your person parted ways, maybe you ended a connection, maybe you broke up, maybe uh, you had an argument and uh, you right now feel that maybe it's over but then you don't know you want to be sure of it is it over or do you still have a re uh, you know a, a chance of reconciliation then this reading is definitely going to help you find the answer to that we will also take some message cards from your person as well in this reading so stay tuned and uh, before i dive into the read uh, let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings so yeah let's find out is it over between the two of you or uh, are you going to patch up with each other so let's find out what is going on is it over or you are going to reconcile let's dive into the read and let's find out Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Justice, Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Four of Wands. Underneath the deck, we do have the Fool. It's not over yet. It's definitely not over yet. You might have had argument. You might have had fight because of uh, two different reasons. One, um, the major one I would call is this whatever the reason is what caused you to have an argument um the root cause of that argument was some inner conflicts inner fears inner negative self-talk um complaints that you were having with your person now trust me you would uh, you know whatever the current circumstances are like maybe your person is not giving you enough time maybe they are not committing to you maybe they are uh, you know uh uh, you feel ignored you feel neglected you feel like you know they are not interested in you whatever was the reason maybe you were being more demanding maybe because uh, you were investing too much and this person seems to be unavailable emotionally whatever was the case the root cause was or is mental physical emotional blocks because of the negative self-talk and negative self-image so what is going to fix that inner work you know switch your focus to you being the um you know you being the most precious person in the world and your person really uh cannot think of even leaving you think of anything else but you it's very important for you to understand that the root cause here was you know even if you feel like your person is not giving you commitment or they are ignoring you it's because you feel that you know since you you feel uh, maybe you know your person is losing interest in you why would you feel that because you have no self-confidence you know whether you acknowledge that fear from within or you don't but that has been the reason if you believe that your person has been giving time to their friends and family but they are ignoring you again how can you not think that um maybe they had to do uh, you know they had to attend a party because of the social pressure but then deep down they were wishing and craving for you as much as you were you know why don't you have that possibility or you, why don't you open up yourself to that possibility what if they were in a in a you know in a very serious meeting at their work and they deep down were thinking about you because they really don't want to lose you why don't you ever think of that thought so it's very important like you know you really want to get justice in this situation make sure you know you are doing justice to yourself first maybe you you somehow for majority of you who are going to match with this uh, energy that i'm picking up here the moment you're going to change your self-belief you get confident you know your worth and you start believing that your person really loves you your circumstances with your person is going to change what you're going to have ace of cups passionate lover person who wants to have a home life with you a person who's who's wishing to have a uh, you know married committed life with you but before you could have it this is the inner work that needs to be done here because i feel like you know whatever happens is maybe you are in, uh, in in some sort of on and off relationship with your person why because you always have the same argument you always end up like you know feeling like you know you are not getting the justice in this situation but what what are the you know uh, what are the possibilities of you not doing, doing justice to yourself as well now for some of you your person could be having some mental blocks around commitment as well now how can you change that by changing your thoughts around it 
once you start doing the inner work trust me the life that you desire with your person is just around the corner they do have love emotions and feelings for you all that is blocking you right now is this the negative self-talk negative self-image and the fear of losing the person or the fear that maybe they are losing interest in you you have to start instilling a new belief in yourself around this person around this connection this breakup this fight this is all momentarily things will start falling into place now if you work towards getting the inner stability from within and uh, getting confident in yourself and in, in what you have to offer once you start working on yourself this person will start seeing you from a different perspective because you have changed and the moment you change your thought the moment you change your mind is the moment you start changing the outer world around you towards you as well if you always had lack of confidence you know if if uh, let me give you an example um if i am fat if i am obese if i am somebody who's uh, you know uh, who doesn't love myself i go out what do i do i tend to hide from people i tend to run away from you know getting clicked in a picture i would uh, i would do all the things because i i am scared of uh, you know uh, putting myself out there but the same me will change once i change the world inside of me and i i i either do two things one either i work on getting my confidence back by by you know eating healthy and uh, incorporating healthy lifestyle and losing some weight and become the fit person that i want to be or if i embrace that that look this is me and i need to be confident about it like you know in a in a positive way where i'm not endorsing the obesity but i'm i'm being like you know trying to get fitter with every passing day so there is a difference like you know the one who is hiding is the one who is feeling very bad about herself and the other person both the other two people like you know one who's trying to be fit and then come out and be like you know the the spot you know uh, the the you know what what we call it like you know the eye catcher for everyone out there or you know it's 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 more like you know what you put out you know um from within what matters if i'm obese and i'm still taking it as because i'm 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 you know confident that i can make it uh, happen i can lose weight and i'm confident in my skin right now i can still portray i can still be open to get clicked and everything but if i'm uh, i'm feeling bad around it what what do i need to change i need to change myself around it first and then only i put out the image that people you know stop laughing at me and people stop uh, you know taking me for granted i will i will definitely you know work towards it so your situation and your situation whatever it is that is bothering you from within around this connection around the world, uh, around the way things are in the connection right now you need to understand that there is something that you can definitely change within yourself which can bring the positive change in the outer world of your connection as well so start doing those things this this uh, breakup is definitely going to um you know end and this time apart is going to end but yes before you could have what you desire with this person you really have to instill a new belief in yourself around yourself and your self worth once you do that you will start seeing change coming from your person as well so it's very important the major cause like you know that's the reason why if even if you choose to move on from this connection to another one you will not get what you want why because you would be not in your perfect you zone where you would be able to attract the right kind of person if you want somebody new and you really don't want to go back to this person you can still do that by first healing yourself knowing that no more mental blocks no more negative self talk and then be the new you and you still will have this person coming back to you you will still have a reconciliation coming with this person if even if you choose not to have you and this person is are this time to be back together be that be that for a closure or be that for something new to start together but yes i do see the reconciliation will be coming in but yes before you could have it this is something which is blocking the path for you right now maybe you are you know right now maybe you are you know struggling to become positive about you know this connection maybe you are struggling to feel worthy of something beautiful in your love life right now so once you start working on yourself be that if you if you want to start something new with someone new you can have that as well if you want reconciliation with the past person as well you can have that as well it's all going to be depending on you how you um how you basically you know rise yourself up again from the situation um by thinking feeling positive 
So I do see that there will be a reconciliation, whether uh, that lasts forever or not. But yes, the reconciliation will be happening. Let's see what is the message of your person. What do they want you to know? Since you guys have parted ways, let's see what do they want you to know. You don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. So they're really not happy with whatever happened. Uh, it was hard for them as much as it was for you. I want to feel that way again. They really want to reconcile with you again, but then again, you know, you really have to, you know, if you really want to stop going on and off, you have to work on the inner work. And if you uh, don't do that, this on and off will continue, but what you desire will not come in. So if you really want this with them, start changing your inner, uh, you know, uh, thoughts, and you will see the change reflecting in your outer world with your person. Um, the timing was just not right for us. So again, you have the strong uh, hold over everything and you can change the reality um, by or you can make things work for you in every situation no matter what the current circumstances are you still have the control and you can you can make the current circumstances favorable for yourself by thinking the thoughts that you desire when the time is right i am marrying you and only you so i feel like you know the reconciliation will be happening plus for some of you you might be ending up getting married to the same person but again if you really want to stop going on and off, do the inner work. Otherwise, you will continue doing the same over and over again. So it's high time that you learn from your past mistakes. Let's see. More cards. Let's see what else do we have. Back to what you love. Be uh, Re-evaluate your desires. I feel like you, know, you are going to come back to each other again you really have to understand you both want each other but at the same time this on and off thing has to go how would you have it kind of you know um, removed from your connection by working on the things that are causing this situation again and again um, again for majority of you it's, it's stemming out of your fears and it's stemming out of your fears of your person as well so how do you work on their fears by working on your fears your person will automatically work on their fears it's, it's, it's how it works you can also use scripting to change their, um, you know, fears around uh, this connection to their faith and their uh, addiction towards you as well. You can use scripting, affirmations, visualizations also, or you can also send some loving uh, energies towards that person as well, which will also help you to stay, you know, to bring this connection back together so it never has to fall apart again. So yeah, this message comes up for you for this read. If the reading resonated or if it helped you in one way or the other, do like, share, and subscribe. And if you're willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till later, the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.